Hi, I'm Keith Burley, creator of the Reef Aquarium DVD and Reef Aquarium TV. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Vertex Libra Dosing System. When you research this system online, you may see that it is one of the more expensive dosing systems out there. There are reasons for this. The units are reliable with construction second to none. They work and keep on working. It's common to frequently have to replace wear and tear parts like motors and rollers on other brands of dosing pumps other than the Libra because the Libra is designed more robust than many of the cheaper dosing pumps on the market. The pumps have a responsive touchscreen to interact with and are made of the same top-of-the-line medical grade pumps used in hospitals. The body is constructed of anodized extruded aluminum. This is the same material used on the International Space Station for the astronauts handrails and anchors. Much time has been spent on refining and adjusting the programming. These devices have been on the market for a few years and customer feedback has been incorporated to create a dependable system that is easy to use. The Libra dosing system has these elegant vessels that are designed to work with the Libra doser. The shorter ones you could stack to save space like this. The taller ones are narrower. These models each hold two and a half liters of liquid, so it is a matter of what works with your space. There is also a five liter vessel as well. Although you will label the pumps while programming the doser, I like to physically label each canister that I am using to make dosing simpler. I just printed these words on a piece of paper, cut them out, and added some tape. Now, there we've labeled our canisters. The tall vessels have this nice screw vent, so when you push the top back on once you've filled the canister, the liquid does not splash out due to the pressure. The first thing you do with your Vertex Libre dosing system is to make sure the software is up to date. Go to www.vertexaquaristic.com and save the most recent software to your desktop. Use a USB A to B cable, a cable that is common to many printers, to link the Libra doser to your PC. When you connect the cable, make sure there is no power going to the Libra. The Libra gets the B or square side, while the computer gets the A or rectangular side. Once connected, a window will show up on your computer stating that there is a connection with an external device and the Libra will populate as a new external drive, drag and drop the new firmware you downloaded onto your desktop to the new Libra drive that appears on your computer. The Libra unit should automatically initiate the installation process and restart. A success.txt file should appear in your device directory which confirms the update. Once the software is installed, you could mount your Libra doser near your tank. Make sure you have access to the screen and it won't get wet. Inexpensive standard one quarter inch aquarium tubing is used to connect the unit to the vessels and to run to your aquarium. Included in the hardware packet are four nuts, four screws, two mounting brackets, and a hex key. The easiest way to install the hardware is to carefully unscrew one of the sides of the doser. You can use a 2.5 millimeter hex key that is not included. Be careful not to move the front panel when you remove the side as the front panel is connected to the internal electronics by two cables. It is easier to assemble the hangers, bolts, and nuts first, then slide the nuts into the back of the doser. Keep the line side of the nut facing outwards. Once both sides are in, you could close up the side. Then you could tighten up both the assemblies. Take a measurement and your doser is ready to be hung. Using the keyhole slot, you can mount the Libra to any flat surface. Here I've mounted a piece of plywood to the wall and I'm going to hang the Libra off the two screws that I have securely drilled into the wood. I made sure to get the same distance between the screws as the keyhole slot. Here I'm using different color lines just to help me keep track of what lines are going where, but any standard one quarter inch tubing will work. However, please avoid soft silicone. These have a tendency to kink and make creating an airtight seal much more difficult. Included are the white nuts that help secure your tubing. The right sides of the pump are the inside or where you hook up your container to. And the left sides are the outside to your tank or sump. I like to give a gentle tug on the lines to make sure they are secure. Now that the Libra doser is mounted, we could start programming the software. It's very easy and intuitive 
but I will go over it just to show you how I set up my tank. The first screen is the language selection, and we will choose English. It is a touch screen, so we just hit the button here. There are several language options, including German and Czech. Next, you calibrate the touch screen by touching where it tells you to. I would suggest if you're going to be using your finger, calibrate with your finger. If you're going to be using a stylus, I would use the stylus to calibrate. Knowing myself, I would probably lose the stylus, so I'm going to use my finger. After the touchscreen calibration, you should be brought to the main menu. In the setup menu, I prefer to leave the pin code option off, as I have to remember too many pin codes in my life as it is. However, if you have small children who might play with the touchscreen or anyone else that might alter the programs, then a pin code would be highly recommended for you. Next, please accurately set the date and time. This is paramount for proper dosing. You could use the 12 hour time, but the 24 hour time is useful for preventing error in programming. I just use the arrows to make my selection. I confirm my selections by touching the OK or the check mark icon. Next, it is a good idea to designate your pumps. This way, you will always know what vessel's contents you're working with. We go to the setup, pumps, pump definition. I like to do calcium one, alkalinity two, and magnesium three, but you can assign the additives any way you wish to do it. Next, it is important to calibrate your pumps. The Libra will walk you through this step by step. Before you calibrate your pumps, you have to make sure that your canisters are hooked up with product to the Libra dosers. If you change the contents of the vessel, it is a good idea to then recalibrate the pump. To start, go to setup, pumps, calibrate. Start with the pump you want to calibrate and hit vent. Vent will start the pump turning to get all the air out of the line. If you have a lot of line, this might take a little while. Once the liquid starts coming out of the tube, hit vent again to stop the pump. Now you need an empty beaker where you could see five and 10 milliliters. Once the Libra doser is finished, you can enter how much the doser actually dosed. Please note that the results how much the Libra doses will be the same every time you calibrate. The changes that calibration makes take effect once the pump is programmed. Now you could program your Libra, but before you do that, you should be aware of the calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium levels in your tank. After I tested my demo tank, I found that my calcium is nice and high at 500 parts per million, which is slightly above our recommended 450. My alkalinity is acceptable at 7.3, even though it is at the low end of our recommended DKH range of seven to nine. However, my magnesium is very low at a thousand parts per million. I'm going to be getting more SPS corals. So in order for them to be happy, I want my magnesium levels to be at 1300. When dosing, every supplement is different. They have different concentrations and your tank will react differently to each. We suggest that you start out dosing low and bring it up according to your system-specific needs. This will prevent you from shocking your corals. If you have many corals, you're going to find that you will need more dosing than if you had fewer corals. My magnesium is so low, we're gonna start out by dosing 100 milliliters the first day and 25 milliliters every day thereafter. In a few days, I will test the levels and adjust them accordingly. The best measure on how much you need to dose is to keep a close eye on the above mentioned values and closely watch your corals to see how they respond. It's only been a few days since I've installed my Libra dosing system, but I'm extremely happy with this product. From what I've seen so far, it is simple to program, accurate, and reliable. If you have any questions about the Libra dosing system or would like to order one, you could call 803 788-4445 or visit us at AquariumSpecialty.com.